If you've got a lawn, then you'll need a lawn mower. There are a lot of different mowers available. I'll give you a rundown on each different type so you can choose the right one. Then I'll give you some safety tips and tell you how to use it properly. The main thing that'll influence your decision is how big your lawn is. If you've got a very small lawn, you might want a hand mower. It's a cheap form of exercise, eco-friendly as you're not using petrol or power. However, they're not that great for large or sloping lawns. This is your standard petrol mower. They're available in different CC ratings. Generally, the higher the CC, the bigger the engine and the longer it can run for. They're pretty tough, but will need regular maintenance to keep them in top condition. They also require oil to run and start up with a pull cord. You can also get electric plug-in mowers. These are better for smaller areas where there aren't so many obstacles like trees to get in your way. They come in different power ratings or watts. The higher the wattage, the more powerful the mower will be. And they start with a simple on switch. Then we have the battery powered mowers. These are gaining in popularity because the batteries available are quite powerful. So look at the AH or the amp hour rating. The higher the AH, the longer it will last. And the higher the voltage, the more powerful it will be. Battery mowers are also quiet and don't require much maintenance. They're also cheaper to run and simple to start up. And finally, this is a robotic lawnmower. These work by installing a boundary wire around the perimeter of your garden. It then cuts the lawn regularly by itself, or is programmed and returns to its station automatically when it needs a charge. Another bonus, it's a lot quieter than traditional mowers. A few other things to consider when buying a mower is the chassis or the body. It can be made from steel, aluminium or plastic. Aluminium is great as it doesn't rust. Steel is by far the tougher material and can handle the odd large rock. Plastic makes the mower a lot lighter and won't corrode either. Also, most mowers come with a catcher to collect your grass clippings. And some have a mulching option where the clippings are cut up super fine and fed back into your lawn as fertiliser. Some mowers are self-propelled, which is another feature to consider, especially for hilly sections, as that makes things a lot easier. Now, here's a few safety tips. Firstly, clear your lawn of any mess, cabbage tree leaves, branches or toys. With petrol models, always turn it off before refuelling. And when working with the blades, completely disconnect the power source. Either remove the battery, unplug it, or in petrol mowers, disconnect the spark plug. I've got my ear defenders, eyeglasses, and some non-slip footwear. Now, if you are using an electric model, make sure that you do have an RCD on hand. It's also a good idea to do your edges first. Adjust the mowing height. As a rule, never cut more than a third of your grass off in one go. Keeping it higher stops the sunlight getting to the weeds, which stops them from growing. Vary the direction you mow to promote upright growth. Push the mower across slopes rather than up and down so you don't lose control. With all models, give them a good clean after each use. Keep your blade sharp for a nice smooth cut. And finally, in summer, mow every couple of weeks or once a month in winter. That's about all the basic info about lawn mowers, so just head into store and choose the right one for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mitre 10 YouTube channel for more great content or click here to watch more now.